The Adamawa State Chapter of the Nigeria Union of Journalists is demanding an unreserved apology from the State Police Command over attack and arrest of its members. The State NUJ Chairman Ishaka Dedan spoke to newsmen in Yola, the Adamawa State Capital, saying the police attacked its secretaries, brutalizing journalists during their lawful duties while arresting 12 others. Dedan warned that if the police personnel responsible for the act are not brought to book, the state NUJ will henceforth shun covering all police-related activities in the state. Police came on three trucks, low with dangerous weapons. When I say dangerous weapons, because we saw guns, we saw they were carrying sticks. Um, we were surprised. And uh, they came and they invaded this place. And uh, within just five minutes, the men arrived, beating people, harassing people. In fact, they, they took away, or let me say they forcefully uh, put um, about 12 senior associate members. In fact, at the course of pleading, they, they threatened to beat me. They said they will slap me. If the police will not offer unresolved apology to the Nigerian Union of Journalists, we are giving them a total blackout. We are boycotting from all the activities. We are going to now, they are going to confirm to us that we, we are not partners because our life is being threatened. Joining us for a telephone is Adamo State NUJ Chairman Ishaka Daydan. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, could you tell us, has any reason been given for the attack at your secretariat? Well, thank you very much. As at the time that I'm talking to you now, um, His Excellency, the Chief Security Officer of Adamawa State and the Governor of Adamawa State, Right Honorable Amadou Marufintri, has already intervened. Um, he said uh, what we are actually trying to do is uh, not out of place, but he is looking at the timing of what we are trying to do. Uh, looking at the threat being caused by, by the COVID-19. So there is need for everybody, including critical stakeholders, for us to join our hands together and fight the COVID-19. And therefore, we appeal to us for us to withdraw. And uh, even as I'm talking to you now, just yesterday, we, the State Council of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, and also together with the, with the leadership of the Adamawa State Police Command, including members of the State Executive Council of the NUJ, sat together and they came where we, we spoke at length, where they tender, they render apologies, and also we talk at length and we understood ourselves. If you ask me, it's a situation where you can just say there is no winner and there is no vanquish. All of us, we, they, what we are doing now is uh, for Project Adamawa and for Project Nigeria. COVID-19 is more than every interest that we may be having. And so, so far, there is, we are back on track and uh, we are working together. The, the, the relationship is being very cordial after we, we understood ourselves. But, but a lot of persons would want to know what necessitated the attack in the first place, especially when we get conflicting reports that the police commissioner at some point distanced himself from that action? Yes, at the same time, that is why we are complaining. If you look at the letter we issued, we were even calling for uh, a decisive action to be taken on two officers, which we believe I have used their office or whatsoever you will say uh, to perpetrate this, this act that we call as unacceptable because of the manner of uncivilized, unhuman operation where they molested, they assaulted, they intimidated, and they attacked the press center where they, they forced 12 of our members 
into their into into their station. And uh, it may interest you to also know that if they are thinking they are there to they kind of uh, enforce the, the the lockdown being pronounced or announced by the state government, why taking these people to the cell of SARS? And SARS, you know what it stands for? That is Special Anti-Robbery Squad. <laughs> As if they have got it, they have got it maybe guns or any other ammunition at the energy. But this one is, is now bygone because we have already come together. Yes, the police commissioner has the right to distance himself because we are talking about two officers, which yesterday during our, our discussion, they, they, they promised to look critically into these issues that we raised. Did we you get any guarantees? The, the did, you, did you get any guarantees that there will not be a repeat of such um, an incident? Yes, actually, they have done that. And I'm also happy to let you know that even yesterday's meeting, we, there, there was the presence of the, uh, uh, another security personnel that was there, that is the DSS, in the presence of DSS, in the presence of the, the PPR who are the Mawa State and other members, executive members or state executive members of the Nigerian Union, we were given every assurances that there is no going to be a repeat of such and also that the two officers that we, we, we were actually accusing that the police authority are going to deal decisively with, 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 with that. And that is what we are waiting to see. All right, Amos, thank you very much for joining us on the news. It's always a pleasure. Thank Please you very much. Safe.